Hi there, Dan fans. Welcome back to Dan TV. Here is some classic footage of the 1964 World's Fair in Flushing Meadows. Enjoy a trip back in time. A trip to the 64 World's Fair started at Lowry Street. We arrived at the Willits Point Station and overlooked the entire fair. You can pick out the terrace on the park. The Louis Armstrong. Here is Mickey Mouse greeting us and taking us inside to the It's a Small World exhibit, which still exists in Disney parks throughout the world. Here we see some of the local fans. Ticket was $3. There's my sister Ann my cousin Mary and my cousin Pat as we visited for a family day out. That's the New York State Pavilion. The fans, the sky ride. The Unisphere, still left. One of the few remaining artifacts. The sky ride is long gone. Here we have some Mexican Indians dancing hundreds of feet in the air on a very small platform. If any of you fans know the specific buildings it would help you could write a response to the video on this YouTube channel. That was the Irish Pavilion. Here's a ride on a log flume. Here's my cousin Mary on her way. We took a ride in this amphibian, amphibious mobile. Drive away. We thought we'd all be having one of these by now. Yes, back in 1964, we figured we would all be driving around in little planes a la George Jetson by this time, but we don't even have the aqua car. The monorail also was something we thought would be all over the world and basically it's uh, limited to airports and Seattle. So I guess the train to the plane is the best monorail system in New York. AMF built that. You can go bowling and you could go bowling inside. There's Mary and she disappeared. What happened? It's the Belgian village in the distance on the other side of the LIE. There's the traffic. Not much. Oh yes, the hammer. And here is the general notice Futurama. They had an uh, early type driving video game. Remember, it was quite a challenge to see who would be the big winner. And there is the terrace on the park, which is still...